Hi, it's Todd from SoundPure. In this video, we'll explore a pair of Millennia STT-1 Origin channel strips acting in stereo as a mix bus and mastering device on indie rock, a drum mix, and on a jazz big band ensemble. In our other videos, you can see the EQ and compressors used to great success. In those videos, we explore the power of the processors and the brilliant twin topology, which allows tube and solid state alternatives. Be sure and check those videos out at soundpure.com to learn why we feel the STT-1s are the most versatile piece of analog outboard equipment being built. Here we'll do some before and after stereo mastering and drum bus work. We're utilizing our actual SoundPure Studios pair of STT-1s, which we currently have linked together so that the dynamic sections will work in concert with one another for these demos. First, we're going to listen to an indie rock tune from Peter Bergquist. We'll listen to it dry with the transformer engaged and then processed. We have tubes added only on the EQ compressor section for this one, but no input tubes. We've added a low compression setting to gel the mix together and control the kick. With the EQ, we've added a little beef to the bottom, brightness around 1.7K, and a nice stratospheric air boost at 21K. Listen to the before and after to hear how well the STT-1 adds a subtle harmonic warmth and at the same time gels the mix together and brings to life the piano and cymbals, giving it a more exciting and three-dimensional quality. Cornfields and soybeans, wind in my hair Tom May on the radio, I was driving through Blair An old guru in a juice bar, a wheatgrass to go I went off to find a secular road On this stereo drum mix, we have the vacuum tubes engaged on the input and on the EQ compressor section Listen now, even with fairly mild compressor settings, the drums really do tighten up With the tubes coloring up the inputs in the processor section, and the EQ cleaning up some of the bottom end, adding brightness to the mid-range and air to the top, there is a very identifiable sonic improvement. In our last segment, we'll take a listen to the UNC Jazz Big Band. We'll use the cleanest settings with no transformer and no tubes for this one. The problem for a lot of jazz is that the bass and low mids can get very congested. On this one, we'll add a little bass to balance the left side and at the same time cut about 130 Hz, while emphasizing the top portion of the low mids with a boost at about 800 Hz. Finally, we'll add some openness and air to the tracks by shelving at 16K. A real consistent application of a low compressor ratio serves to glue and enhance the entire mix. As you can tell, these channel strips serve not only as world-class tracking tools, but also the finest in mastering and stereo bus work. Our studio would simply not be complete without these Millennia STT-1s that we're utilizing on a daily basis here at SoundPure Studios. As a premier Millennia dealer, we're here to help answer any questions that you might have about these or anything else that we're doing here at the studio.